Hi, I'm patent attorney Mark Trenner. I started my law firm in 2004, over 10 years ago, to help individuals, startups, entrepreneurs, and small businesses protect their inventions with patents. I've been writing patent applications now for over 15 years. Today, we're going to talk about the new patent law. Now, when I say new patent law, this patent law actually took effect back in 2013. But by patent law standards, which hardly ever changed the past hundred years, two years ago is still considered a new patent law. So why do you care about the new patent law? You don't want to read about patent laws, right? You just have an invention, you want to file a patent application for it, right? Well, there's a couple of reasons you need to know about this new patent law and how it affects you and how it could even prevent you from getting a patent. The most important provision under this new patent law is what we call the first to file patent system. It used to always be that the United States was a first to invent patent system. That meant that if you invented something today, somebody else invented the same thing or something very similar a month from now, even if that person filed their patent application right away before you had a chance to, you could still go back and say, I invented this first, I want the patent. But that's all changed now. That doesn't apply anymore. So if you think that you're just going to do the poor man's patent application, where you write it down, put it in an envelope, and mail it to yourself, that won't work anymore. Everybody now falls under the new patent law. And the new patent law says, the United States is first to file. So if I think of an idea today, somebody else thinks of that same idea six months from now, but they file even one day before I get my patent application filed, well guess what? Now I'm out of luck. Where under the old law, I used to be entitled to that patent still. Under the new law, that's not the case. Whoever files first, regardless of when you invented it, you're going to be the one that gets the patent for it. Now that might seem unfair. It might seem like, well, hey, can't big companies just file patent applications every day? And the answer is yes, they can, and a lot of big companies do. They'll file many applications. Uh, they'll just file to get a filing date. Can you do that? Probably not, unless you have a huge budget. But what, what can you do? What you can do is talk to a patent attorney as quickly as possible once you know that you have an invention that's worth protecting, something that you want to pursue a patent for. Talk to a patent attorney, find out what the steps are, find out what the costs are, make your budget, and if it's something that you're serious about pursuing, get it filed in the patent office as quickly as possible. Does the provisional patent application count under the first to file? Yes, it does. So maybe that's a good option. You might want to consider filing a provisional patent because you can get it done pretty quickly, fairly inexpensively, and you may even be able to make some changes and file a second pat provisional patent application, all without losing your rights under the new patent law. So my name is Mark Trenner. I'm a patent attorney. I hope that this answered your question of what does the new patent law mean for me as an inventor.